Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Tiki back at it again. And man, oh man, it has been a while. It has been a while. I'm so sorry, guys. The past couple of weeks have been extremely, extremely busy for me. And I've just had a million of things going on and uh, didn't really have time to, uh, to focus on making any videos or vlogs. I hope you guys understand that, but uh, I feel like this is gonna be the last time that there is a long hiatus for a while. I'm gonna get back into the groove of uploading once again, and uh, we'll, we'll be getting some consistent content out there. But how are y'all doing? I missed y'all. I'm sure a lot of things have happened in the last two weeks. I know, uh, I know some of y'all went to CDL school. I know some of y'all were going to orientation. I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys are doing with your process at the beginning of your journey. But anyways, y'all, today's gonna be a short video. I just wanted to give you guys an update as to what's going on in my life right now. Uh, as you guys can read the title, I am now local. And uh, <laughs> I know I know, some of you guys are gonna be asking, oh my God, Tiki, did you quit the company you were working for? Uh, just simply put no I'm still in the same truck I'm with the same beautiful company I don't think I'm gonna be leaving deluxe for a while man I love this company everybody in the company definitely takes care of me it's uh it, I, I, I got really lucky finding this company man I'm not gonna lie but uh, long story short uh, I guess my company ended up getting new customer contracts out here in Washington and I'm the only one that lives in the Pacific Northwest uh, that works for Deluxe. So with how many loads are getting pushed through with that customer contract, uh, they've just been extremely busy, man. There, there's been a lot of loads locally. So about uh, three weeks ago, I pretty much said, hey, you know, I, I, I realize you guys are pretty busy in Washington State. You know, it's, it's not very often that you get drivers from California up here to Washington. Why don't I just run your local routes, like run those local accounts since there's an account that's literally 20, 30 minutes away from where you pick up and then you deliver. And that specific account, uh, looks like my Garmin picked up my voice thinking I'm talking to it. No Garmin, I'm not talking to you, Never mind. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's just so many loaded trailers coming from that location and going to that local account that, uh, it, it, it honestly makes a lot of sense to have someone up here running those local trailers because man when I tell you there's a lot there is a lot <laughs> and so for the past three weeks I've pretty much been a local runner up here in Washington State man and I, I have to admit I, I kind of like it I kind of like it I do miss being adventurous and going out to different states and and seeing those beautiful views and whatnot that you guys are used to on the channel. But the convenience of being local, being home every day, man, it has it has been a blessing. It has definitely been a godsend. You know, I I, I really, really, man, I, it's, it's, it's definitely a blessing. I, I, I like the way it's working. It's pretty exhausting, but I get to be home every day. I work six days a week. I do my 34 hour reset. Uh, Friday night and then all of Saturday and I come back on Sunday and uh, you know I get to see my son every single day which is great you guys know I've been griping about missing my son so much every time I leave uh, after my 34 hour resets so it definitely works out for me and not only that I don't know if I've mentioned it on the channel before but I've really been wanting to lose weight y'all know if y'all watch my videos before that your boy Tiki's a little on the chunky side <laughs> I'm a little fluffy boy, I'm not gonna lie. I actually started going to the gym once I started going local. So I've been going to the gym every single day since then and uh, I'm making some positive changes in my life, man. It's, it, it's, it's great, it feels great. So no, I didn't quit my company. Yes, I'm local now. For how long? I honestly do not know. Um, and am I quitting? doing 11 Western or regional or OTR. No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm seeing how well this goes for me, if this actually suits my lifestyle a little bit better. 
Um, and if it does, I think I'm gonna end up staying local for quite a bit. Uh, otherwise, you know, I'll be doing some, some weeks I'll be going out doing regional pulling loads from Washington and bringing them down to California. Uh, but if I do have the opportunity to stay local, I genuinely would love to stay local. And the reason why is because for the past three weeks, I've already developed a routine and a, pretty much a rhythm as to what I do for work and when I get home and the activities that I'd like to do when I get home to stay productive. So that's the reason why I haven't really been making any videos, guys. I've just been really busy or at least keeping myself busy in different ways other than, you know, making videos and uh, my body's still getting used to waking up early in the morning to go to the gym doing 10 to 12 hours of work every day and then coming home and sleeping <laughs> so i've been too exhausted to like like i've recorded i've recorded videos over the past couple of weeks and i have like three episodes worth but i've been so lazy honestly i've been so lazy i've been so tired uh because my body's just getting used to you know this this schedule and this routine so with that being said i have an announcement to make so my little brother is just like me he loves content creation he loves graphic design and he makes music too so the other day i was i actually took him with me last friday uh, to run a load from lacey washington all the way up to the border of canada to blaine washington and he came with me and he's like so what's up with the videos man you haven't posted in a while uh, that's not very tiki like of you <laughs> and so I told him what was going on he's like look dude I I'm trying to get into video editing as a side hobby like you know me I, I really like video editing and if you need someone to edit your videos so that way all you have to do is focus on making the videos or recording the videos uh, I could edit those for you and upload those for you so the announcement is my little brother is going to be taking over the editing so if you guys see any difference in the future videos uh, that's the reason why because my little brother's taking over the editing aspect of everything uh, really happy to announce that he he just really wants to see the channel grow and uh, you know he's a little worried because I haven't been posting and <laughs> you, you know it's it, it's been getting a little difficult with me with all this this whole lifestyle change that I've been trying to conduct yeah videos are gonna start coming a little bit more frequently now the goal for me is at least two videos a week that's what I'm going to shoot for and uh, if it doesn't happen at least one a week and since I'm gonna be doing local routes and everything's gonna be like super repetitive uh, I'm gonna have to think of ways to change up the content for you guys because I'm sure you guys just don't want to see me doing the same local route over and over and over again. At that point, you guys will see the video. Ooh, we got a bypass for the way station. Just make my way in here, excuse me sir. Thank you so much for letting me in. I appreciate you as a human being. But yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to switch up the content so that way it's not just the same thing every single time uh but yeah just uh forgive me while i adjust and and try to make it a little bit better for you guys but yeah we're uh we're almost at 10,000 subscribers guys i i am in complete shock when i started this channel i had no idea like no thought in my mind that i would have even gotten this many subscribers like I'll be honest with you guys, I thought I was only going to get a couple hundred subscribers and I was just going to focus on, you know, making content for fun. And it still is fun for me. Now we're almost at 10,000 subscribers and to some people that's not a lot, but to me it means the world. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. I genuinely appreciate your guys' support. It is so awesome that our family is growing. A lot of people are joining in on this journey. Um, I, I don't have the words to to just say thank you guys so I'll, that's literally all I'm gonna say is thank you I really appreciate the support guys every single one of you I appreciate you God bless y'all so for those of you who are new subscribers to the channel welcome 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 to the journey and welcome to the family my name is Tiki and I appreciate y'all and everybody who's been long-term subscribers since the very beginning I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you so much for rocking with me since day one. I know who you are. I remember all your names. So pros and cons so far of me running local stuff every single day. Uh, one of the cons, you can see it right now. 
the general area that, that I'm making deliveries and picking up these these loads from uh, there is usually a lot of traffic almost every day right now it's 740 in the evening and there is usually not this much traffic it's Sunday today it is Sunday today um, and <laughs> there's quite a bit of traffic but on the weekdays uh, kind of like around 4 or 5 p.m. maybe even 6 there's like stop and go traffic both directions and uh, it takes a long time to just do a 20 mile delivery I've been doing a little bit of both of dropping hooks and live unloads uh, there's some live loads that I do and I'll take those live loads and take those trailers and drop them off in the Vancouver yard for those of you who remember where that's at but for those of you who don't know uh, there's a yard that we use to do drop-in hooks and relay loads in Vancouver, Washington and uh, Pretty much when I do live loads here in Washington I take those trailers those loaded trailers all the way to Vancouver so that way someone else can pick up the load and take it down to California and uh, I just go back to running these local loads, but yeah, just want to give an update with the company as well the company has been treating me really well uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity one thing that really pulled my heartstrings is that um, Easter is a really big holiday for me especially with my son for me it's the uh, holiday to get right with the Lord uh, and for being with my son you know the the quality time of doing Easter egg hunts uh, that's a big deal to me you know any holiday that I can spend with my son is a big big deal to me so last week was Easter Sunday last minute like I thought I was gonna start working on Sunday doing local runs and whatnot but early in the morning Josie the dispatch called me uh, or no she texted me and said hey I completely forgot to ask you on Friday if you wanted to have Sunday off uh, for Easter to spend with your family feel free to say no if you want to make some extra money uh, but if you would like to stay home you know be, be my guest you know just this, just that gesture alone uh, knowing that they're willing to make stuff like that work for me last minute I didn't even ask I was assuming I was gonna work and I was ready to put some work in on that Easter Sunday so pretty much to summarize on it uh, yeah things are going very well for me with this company um, I, I see myself staying here for quite a while man long-term goal don't forget the long-term goal is to still buy my own truck become an owner operator um, you know, I'm, I haven't lost vision of that, but for as long as I'm a company driver, this is uh, this is where my heart's gonna stay, honestly. Unless I want to expand into different realms of the trucking industry, like if I want to do oversized loads or flatbed or something like that, then I might consider going to another company to learn that, like a company that specializes in that kind of freight. But as of right now, Dry Van has my heart and uh, I'm, I'm here for the long run. But anyway, yep, that's, uh, that's all for my update. I'm actually gonna take you guys along with me for this one local run. So I just came from Vancouver, Washington. I dropped off a, trail, a loaded trailer over there and picked up an empty trailer. And now I'm back in Lakewood, Washington to drop this empty off at our customer and pick up a loaded trailer and deliver it about 20 miles away. So I'll take you guys while I do that. And here's one thing I don't think I did on this channel, um, roundabouts. <laughs> I absolutely hate roundabouts in a semi truck, man. For the first couple of weeks that I was local, I never really knew the appropriate fashion for going through double lane roundabouts. And so it was just really awkward for me because I'd, I'd, I'd stick in one lane, there'd be two lanes going into the roundabout, not, not this one, this is a single lane, but there would be a double lane roundabout, I'd be in one lane and there would be cars next to me trying to squeeze through and I'd have to like really take my time and be slow until those cars stop flowing through. That way I could actually navigate my trailer through the roundabout. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I actually saw another driver go through the roundabout. He put his hazards on and blocked both lanes of traffic while entering the roundabout. So that way he would have all the room in the world to navigate that roundabout. So that's what I started doing. But here we are, here we are at our customer's account. The gate is closed.
and I'm pretty sure he can hear my truck right now. There we go. I don't know who this guy is, so I'm going to shut the camera off and uh, get the paperwork taken care of to pick up this loaded trailer. All right, so we seem to be having some technical difficulties with the uh, bill of lading system with the security shack. Um, and they can't find my trailer or my bill of lading. And so we're just gonna back this trailer in real quick. And then we're gonna bobtail back to the guard shack and try to find our loaded. I know I, I've passed by the loaded trailer. I know it's here, but for some reason, he can't find it in the system. So. And there we go. I actually didn't do any pull-ups. It's from setup to start of my back. So that's another pro of being local, I personally think, is that I actually have more opportunities to back. And I probably back about, I wanna say, anywhere from eight to 10 times a day when I'm running these local routes, so I get a lot of backing practice. I'm nowhere near professional, I'm nowhere near good. Um, but when it comes down to it, if a trailer needs to be in a hole, I'll put that trailer in the hole. <laughs> So yeah, another thing that I like about running locals because I get to back all day every day. I think that's my most favorite part. There's fun in, uh, in backing. And bobtail back to the guard shack. Quick shout out, there's a, there's a security guard here that found my YouTube channel. I forgot your name, bro, I'm so sorry. But he subscribed to the channel. And um, real quick before I continue, that's the trailer I need to pick up, but they're not finding it in the system. Uh, but yeah, he, he wants to get into the trucking industry and uh, he started looking up You know rookie truck driving videos on YouTube and he found my channel And so one day when I was here, he was like, hey, man, do you uh, do you make YouTube videos? I was like, yeah, how do you know? He's like, bro, I saw your video on YouTube during my break today and I'm subscribed. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool So shout out to you, bro. I completely forgot your name. I'm so sorry. Uh, but this was uh, like a week ago, a week or two ago. Um, but yeah, <laughs> shout out to you, bro. Uh, that, that's what I like to see is like people in different fields of, of careers. Like he's a security guard. He's always been doing security guard work. And he wants to transition into getting his CDL. And uh, I think that's an awesome thing, man. So for those of you that are considering the truck driving industry, just go do it just do it the worst thing you can do is get your cdl uh work a couple months to make your money back from cdl school and worst case scenario if it doesn't work out then it doesn't work out but you have your cdl there's other opportunities out there like being a yard dog for a yard like this moving trailers around uh that way you don't have to be over the road uh or you could be like a dump truck driver for a construction company there's there's a lot of opportunities out there so uh, get get out there and do it. My guy, the security guard uh, that talked to me, he said he's going into CDL school next week. He's starting CDL school next week. So uh, good luck to you, bro. I hope everything is what you imagined that it would be. And I hope you find some happiness in this industry. So good luck to you. And then for my viewers and subscribers, good luck to those of you who have started on this journey. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing your guys' progress. A lot of you who said and had mentioned that you went to CDL school a couple months back, um you guys are working for companies now and that is freaking awesome the development is so awesome man i'm just so happy for you guys who are actually going out there and making it happen because you wanted to do it uh so congratulations to you all all right so a little bit of an update uh i've been here for about 20 minutes now uh sitting here bobtail just waiting the guard shack is right over there uh for some reason the trailer and the bill of lading number is not popping up in his system and so my dispatch sent me another trailer and another uh, bill of lading number and that's not showing up in their system. So now there's quite a bit of technical 
difficulties right now going on with picking up this trailer this is the last trailer that I have to deliver today and uh, this this kind of stuff always happens on the last one I tell you <laughs> so what well, it is what it is man it's a part that's that's all a part of the trucking industry and for those of you who are new that are um, expecting a walk in the park with driving and everything um, you're gonna be running into these kind of technical difficulties and sometimes the security guards won't be very nice um, so luckily for me this guy is pretty outgoing and uh, you know he's actually trying to work with me but other times that I've dealt with this at other places a lot of security guards are like sorry can't find it you gotta leave so I don't know <laughs> we'll see where this goes um, but if I bobtail out of here and I start the vlog with bobtailed out of here, that means it didn't work. If I start this next clip with the trailer, that means we're delivering this. So we'll see how that goes. So uh, I'm leaving bobtailed. <laughs> I'm leaving bobtailed because they're having really bad system issues right now and they can't pull up any of the bill of ladings uh, or any of the trailer numbers that I'm giving them. And so, I mean, I'm just SOL, I can't deliver any of the loads that we have here. Um, the only thing that I can do and what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night is I'm actually going to head down to Winlock, Washington and pick up a empty trailer and drop it back off here so that it can get loaded and uh, delivered on another day. So. Uh, right now we're at exit 122 on I-5. We got to head all the way to exit 63, which is Winlock. And uh, we're going to pick up that empty trailer. So it's going to be an hour drive there and about an hour drive back. So two hours on our clock. Um, if I had delivered this trailer, I probably would have been going home a lot earlier. My plan was to uh, go to the gym after this last delivery. But uh, now it's going to be a late night. It's already uh, 8.51. And by the time I get back here, it's going to be midnight. Oh no, it's 8.51. So rounding it up to 9 o'clock. And uh, one hour drive there, one hour drive back. It's going to be about 11 o'clock when I get back. You know what? No excuses. I'm still going to go to the gym tonight. Screw it. So that's the thing about these locals. There will be a lot of hiccups. And I have quite a bit of time left on my clock, so um, when these hiccups do happen, there has to be an alternative to complete the night just to make it productive for the day. And uh, right now, the only way to make that productive is go pick up an empty trailer from another one of our, our contracts, take that empty trailer back here, and then just call it a day. So no big deal. It's uh, really not that big of a deal. I was literally sitting there for almost an hour uh, waiting for him to try to figure out what was going on with the paperwork and the bill of lading. So he wasn't able to find it out. He felt really bad. He was like, I've been doing this for a long time, man. Um, I feel so bad that I can't find the bill of lading or anything in the system. I feel like this is all my fault. I was like, no, dude, it's not your fault. It's the system's fault. Like you're, you're literally plugging in the numbers into the computer right in front of me and nothing was coming up. He was showing me the screen, nothing was coming up. So I don't blame the dude. He, he's, he's had a long day, it's been really busy and he hasn't even eaten his lunch yet. Um, you know, just literally sitting there getting really cold, uh, sitting there on the desk because he was focusing on trying to get uh, all of the, uh, the paperwork figured out. But the truck drivers aren't the only ones dealing with, uh, with, with truck driving related issues. Uh, it's also the security guards that deal with the stress, dispatch, the brokers, the shipping and receiving managers. They all deal with a little bit of the stress here and there from the truck driving. All we really do is just, you know, pick up the loads, drive the load to the delivery location and drop it off. We're just hauling freight, baby. Granted, there's a lot of stuff that happens in, that can happen in between that makes this job a lot more stressful than it really needs to be. But you know what? It is what it is. So when you guys are picking up loads and dropping off loads and you guys get all huffy puffy because your clock's running out, just remember, man, they got a job to do too. Security guards, dispatch, all of them got a job to do too. And uh, their job can be as equally stressful. So uh, when you guys are out there, just 
be grateful, man. Be a little, be a little respectful, because you're not the only one dealing with stress uh, when it comes to these loads. Your dispatch, the, these security guards, they're dealing with stress too, man. We're gonna bring it back to elementary and uh, and mention the golden rule, man. Treat others the way that you want to be treated. And so if you're all huffy puffy because your load isn't working out uh, as planned and things get uh, a little tied up and there's some hiccups in the system or what have you, you know, just, just think about that golden rule before you open your mouth and start running your mouthpiece. Uh, to these security guards and whatnot because they're trying some of them are trying their best man And some of them have probably had a long day before you showed up he, the key of this industry to keep this industry going man I see like I've witnessed it so many times truck drivers being rude to security guards and stuff and vice versa security guards being rude to truck drivers and honestly to keep this industry going healthy and 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 just flow smooth just treat everybody with respect no matter how upset you are or how disrespectful they're being to you you know sh just just be respectful to them show them as much respect as possible because honestly you being huffy puffy back to them is not going to get you guys anywhere or even if they're not being disrespectful or rude to you you being upset about how things aren't going your way is not going to help anybody in that situation so food for thought man it's just stay positive stay stay happy and be grateful that you're out here able to haul freight you know what i'm saying this job can be tough this job can be hard at times and it can be extremely stressful and being angry about everything when you hop up in that driver's seat of that truck is not gonna make your day any better y'all just gotta focus on positive vibes while you're out there on the road man and that's the only way that you're gonna make your day any easier is to, to just be happy and be grateful man and I apologize I don't mean to preach but uh, within the past five six months that I've been in this industry so far I've just seen a lot of grumpy people man and uh, it's a shame because you know you could turn your day around real quick in a positive direction just by you know presenting a positive attitude and just trying to stay positive so if you guys want, if you new guys or uh, new gals that are getting into this industry and you want a really good tip on how to make it in this industry, just no matter what situation you're in out on the road, just stay positive. It, it takes so much more energy to be angry and upset and remain angry about it for the whole day. And it just makes your whole day miserable. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, 9 o'clock at night now, the sun's down, and it's nothing but just straight up darkness and the GoPro sucks at catching low light footage. So I'm just going to keep driving and I'll see you guys once I get to this empty pickup location and uh, we'll go from there. But I'm not going to record any darkness footage because it just doesn't look good on video and I don't think you guys want to see that either. So alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. And just like that, we take the exit. It didn't take too long, right? You guys just had to wait a couple of seconds, that's all. A one hour drive isn't too bad when you have camera magic, right? <laughs> it is safe to say that I've never been here at this time of day before. It is dark. And there are no street lights here, man. There we go, see that's what I'm talking about. Some street light action going. And there we go, there we go. We've got the guard shack right up ahead. I'm going to check in, let them know what I need, and I'll see you once I start coupling to that trailer that I'm picking up. So it looks like there's only two trailers that I could pick up right now, and there's a another driver. Uh, I don't know if he's a legend driver or if he's a deluxe driver, but uh, apparently there's someone already here picking up one of the two trailers. So I'm assuming that he's over there right now, he or she is over there right now, and they're picking out the better of the two. And if that's the case, I'm gonna have to fight him. I'm gonna have to fight him for the better trailer. <laughs> now we're gonna keep it simple, and we're gonna pick up whatever trailer that we can pick up. So 4108 or 4132, I think that's the other driver right there. Yep, that's the other driver right there, and it looks like... It's a deluxe truck. I'm not sure who that is, but what's up, bro? Oh, yeah, well, he didn't even look at me. 
Oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, let's see. So he was at 4132. So I got to go to 4108, which is right here. Oof. This is an old, 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 old trailer. So let's hope that it's uh, up to snuff to take. Sweet deal. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get everything connected and uh, see if everything's working just fine. I grab the uh, trusty old flashlight. And then my favorite part of coupling, as you guys know, is the locking jaw. The locking jaw looks just fine. So let's go ahead and Okay, is this a mechanical or is this an air actuated trailer? Hard to tell bro, I've never dealt with one of these trailers before. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, the instructions are right there. Oh my gosh. Well, let's just crank this landing gear up. Ow! Oh my god. I hit my thumb and got it pushed in between the crank arm. Because there's like literally no clearance there. guess I'm just gonna tape that when in doubt string it out <sighs> okay because that's definitely not gonna stay there <sighs> all right that's gonna have to do for now let's um, move these tandems back shall we Honestly, I've never seen a release arm sitting in between the tandems. Okay, we're good to go. Let's get to the entrance here and check out with this trailer. And boom, with a little bit of camera magic once again, we're back here in Lakewood, y'all. So this Lakewood delivery location is right next to JBLM, the military base out here in Washington State. Joint Base Lewis McCord is what it's called. There we go. We're a little bit on the sidewalk there, but we gotta wait for old buddy boy to uh, to open up the gate for us. And there we go. All right, I'll see you guys once I get this checked in and we start back in this trailer. Okie dokie. We're all checked in. We're just gonna drop this lovely trailer here. And uh, we're gonna call it a night. I'm trying to go to the gym and get some sleep. Not at the gym though. I wanna go to the gym, then go home and then sleep. But, I mean, it depends on who you are. I mean, if you like sleeping at gyms, then we can try sleeping at the gym. <laughs> I don't know. Be honest, guys, this probably isn't going to be the best backing ever. Because I am exhausted. <laughs> oh, boy. I missed the, uh, the hole by a long shot. That first trailer, though, was amazing. But I'm just... I'm pooped right now. Jeez Louise.
There we go. Jeez. That was an embarrassing backing escapade. I was not kidding. When I said I was tired. It is 11.32 right now. I've been awake since 5 a.m. Not for work, but I had a couple of errands to run in the morning before uh, before leaving the house, so. Yep. And there we go. We're all good to go. All right, y'all, let's bobtail home. I'm ready to end today. All right, y'all, that is it for today. I hope you guys appreciated this short little update video that I had for you guys. I'm so sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded, but we're gonna go ahead and try to get a little bit more consistent as of this week. So I hope you guys are ready for another video to come out later on this week. No promises, don't hold me against that. We'll see if it works. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, if there is anything in this video that you guys found of value or you just like the video in general, go ahead and hit the like button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And if there was anything in this video that you guys want to discuss or have any questions about or you just want to have a conversation, go ahead and hit the comment section down below. Having conversations with you guys is the best. I appreciate those comments. But that's that. We're at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, y'all are true champs. Anyways, y'all, you know what time it is. Your boy Tiki is out. Peace.